Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for April 12th, 2021. So guys, um, I need to make an apology. This video obviously is later than normal. I did a full recording and for some reason I had a technical problem and had no sound on the video and had to go through all of my settings because of a Windows update. Um, but that being said, let's try and make the best of this today. It will be shorter than normal, but I'm going to move through here really, really quickly. So let's settle in and get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Pro video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much uh, for putting up with the late video here. I uh, uh, don't know what happened, but we're going to move on uh, as if it didn't happen. First off, let, let's take note here in the Dow chart. If we take a look at our trend, we're, we're in a very, very strong trend. But I have to tell you, we're starting to look extremely stretched out here in the market. Now, last week was kind of an interesting week where we popped up big on Monday. We largely went nowhere all week and then on Friday, particularly right at the end of the day, we had a massive surge of buying into the market. And this morning, as you can see, and by the way, um, just to make note, I have changed um, a setting here in the system so that the pre-market candle is colored in a different color so you guys can see that and uh, can avoid some confusion. But right now we're in a very, very bullish um, market condition. We heard Jerome Powell on Sunday on 60 Minutes say that they're going to keep their foot to the floor on the gas. Um, at the Federal Reserve and that it's very unlikely that they're going to raise rates this year. So, hey, there's every reason to believe that we could go even higher with this kind of accommodation in the market. However, I do want to um, just acknowledge that we are very, very extended in these charts and the fact that we could stumble and pull back, it could be relatively painful. Now, here in the Dow, it's not so bad. Notice that right in here, we if we pull back to this support, it might be a little bit painful, but not too awful overall. We are quite a ways extended from our 50-day moving average, however, and if we were to come all the way back there, that would be a problem. But I don't see that happening in the very near future here. Let's take a look at the SPY, however. The SPY over the last two weeks, we have rallied in virtually a parabolic move. And notice how steeply we've moved up. Not, not a single black candle over that two week period of time. And um, just extremely stretched out here in the short term. And let's take a look at this. If we were to pull back, if we were to try and seek out a level of price support, we're gonna have to really come all the way back down to here. Now, obviously that would be very, very painful. And I'll tell you the truth, we could come all the way back down here just to engage that uptrend. We are extremely stretched here in this price action on the SPY. So the reason I'm bringing that up is to be a little bit careful and cautious. One of the problems that I've been witnessing a lot, I'm getting a lot of emails about this, folks over the last two or three weeks have been losing a lot of money back to the market because of these choppy market conditions. And they're over trading, they're pressing this market condition as if it were several months ago and we were just all bullish all the time and you can make lots of mistakes and still make money. Right now that's not the case. We're having an awful lot of whipsaw price action in the market intraday, a lot of back and forth which makes it much more challenging. So we have to take note of these high risk situations and just prepare for that possibility that if we do stumble or pull back, it could be really, really painful. Albeit that the Fed is standing on the gas and everything is good um, and we could still move this market higher. We just have to keep that in, um, in our planning that if it does pull back, what does that leave me um, in, um, in my trades if we do start pulling back. So watch that close. And then if we take a look at the queues, queues also extremely standard, extended in the short term. Now we pushed up here and we had a new record high close on the QQQ on Friday, but we still have this situation where we've just been 
straight up in this move here recently. And that possibility that if we were to pull back just to find price support in the chart, it could be a rather painful pullback in this price action. So just make sure you're being aware of that and staying kind of focused on how far we are stretched and how easy it would be to over trade or chase stocks that are already extended and then really get punished. So watch that carefully. Then if we take a look at IWM here, now IWM is a much more subdued chart and runs out a little bit of a risk here of that head and shoulders top. But I have to say we're holding in here along a nice price support in that chart. Um, right now the bulls are definitely in control. So I'm gonna have to go with, um, I favor this for pushing back out to the upside, but just keep a close eye on that. Um, energy and financials are going to be a big essential here to get this moving. And we know we're going to run into that earnings um, season starting this week. So keep a close eye on IWM. So, um, Let's take a look at the VIX here really quick. Now the VIX is doing what we want to see it do. When we're hitting new highs, we want to see the VIX declining. And we want to see the VIX continue that move to continue to decline. Um, typically when the market's at, at new record highs, we're all the way down in here. We're 10s, 12s, um, mid-teens. Um, at a very minimum where we're hitting record highs. It was very, very odd to see markets hitting record highs and we're above 20 handles here in the VIX. So this is bullish for the market if we can continue to see that fear drop out of the market here. So watch that close. Then if we take a look at our T2122, our T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And I get lots of questions about this. It's really simple guys. Um, they take the four week new highs, the four week new lows, make a ratio out of it. And it gives us these extreme conditions in the market. It tells us when we have oversold temporarily, tells us when we have overbought temporarily on the short term. And notice that we're pretty close to the upside here. Um, we're in that bearish reversal area, but we still have some room to the upside. We haven't reached that super extended condition here in that for that p potential bearish reversal. However, if those bears were to find some kind of inspiration to push back, you could see a considerable bit of price or, or profit taking that could come in if we started a selling move. Um, into the market and that would be just protection of capital for those folks that um, have um, been making some really good money here recently in these big rallies. So watch that closely in case that does occur. But right now I just don't see that in the in the price action of the chart. There's nothing in there that is indicating that we should go um, much lower um, in the market. Now, because um, I've got things all messed up here this morning, you're gonna have to bear with me just a second here. But if we take a look at um, our economic calendar for today, our economic calendar does have a few things on here uh, throughout the week that we wanna pay attention to. But let's notice that this morning, we don't have much going on in here. We have a treasury statement this afternoon. And I do think there may be one item in here that we might wanna keep an eye on um, for um, later today. We've got that 10 year bond note. And we know that's been kind of that contentious um, uh, thing out there with bond rates rising and folks worrying about inflation. Might want to keep an eye on that 10-year auction today. Could be of interest, so watch that closely. Um, through re rest of the week, we'll talk about these others later on, but um, today is a pretty light day, and it's a light day on the earnings front as well. Not much going on on that earnings calendar um at all so um just kind of keep that in mind it's going to be a rather rather light day today now having said that guys we do have a couple um apha um somewhat notable here today that you might want to pay attention to notice that it looks like we have failed on an earnings report we could be breaking down here um on um that chart so that's really <clears throat> about the only major notable that I could come up with here today um, 
um, on the earnings report. So watch that. Now, keep in mind, Wednesday we began the big bank earnings reports. We're going to hear from Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, um, Wells Fargo, PNC Financial. Um, so that's really going to spike things up. So what that means is we could literally see a bit of a resting pattern here in the market for the next couple of days. Don't be surprised if the price action gets a little bit insipid, a little bit of back and forth in that price action, real choppy as we wait for the kickoff of that earnings um, season. So watch for that. Now let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me a quick favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up and if you feel that the video was worthy please do me a favor and click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment I do apologize for the lateness of the video today um, it, it certainly wasn't intended and um, it was just a, a Windows update that messed me up so um, I do apologize for that and hopefully this video wasn't too disjointed for you. Let's take a look at some stock setting up and remember guys that the stocks that I bring up are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Make sure you do your own due diligence on these trades and watch very, very closely. First off, um, I want to take a look at like uh, GE. Now GE is setting up here in this chart and notice that if we look right across here we have a nice little consolidation move. We've broken this downtrend and we're trying to rest over here sideways so watch that closely for that opportunity that this could get going. Uh, GE looking good and by the way guys I'm gonna go really really fast on these because um, I'm gonna make this video much shorter so I can get it out at least somewhat before the market opens. Um, so I'm gonna move really fastly quickly here on some of these charts. Take a look at Steel Dynamics. I really like this consolidation in Steel Dynamics. And with the uh, infrastructure bill maybe coming down the pipeline, we might be watching for that. Um, anything in steel uh, may be looking pretty good. You want might want to take a look at US Steel. US Steel has been pulling back here recently but could be finding some support along its trend here um, in just a little bit. Watch that closely. And CLF is another that you might want to keep an eye on. On the tech sector side, take a look at stocks like Qualcomm. Qualcomm, obviously communications here, but um, Qualcomm trying to um, hold up nicely in this little move. I like this little consolidation breaking back above. Qualcomm may be coming back around. Keep that one in mind. You may want to take a look at AMD. AMD trying to break this kind of protracted pullback, break that to the upside. Notice that we've rallied. I've placed an alert in here and I'm watching this price action to see if we can push on through. Now, obviously, we have a bigger resistance area up here that we have to deal with, but um, AMD is starting to come around. Take a look at Intel. Now, Intel made a big move on Friday, um, breaking through some resistance. Notice I had this alerted in here. Uh, for that move up. It's the same pattern I trade all the time. And you can see that we're pushing up into this resistance high in the chart, um, trying to push through. And if we can break through that resistance, and like we did on Friday, and prove then that we can hold this as support, might want to be keeping an eye on Intel going into the future. Um, we're certainly piling back into um, tech stocks, so that might be of interest um, here for you. Um, another one that you may want to keep an eye on is Cisco. Cisco, uh, very nice con consolidation, nice tight resting consolidation. Now, I have to admit a bias in this. I am in this trade already, and I'm watching this closely for that next opportunity to push on through, but keep an eye on Cisco, looking pretty good as a chart. Might wanna keep an eye on Foot Locker. Foot Locker made its move. You can see I had an alert here, and it popped on Friday, pushing on through. We may try to push on through to new highs. Let's watch that. Foot Locker looking pretty good. I really like this chart in Altria on the daily. Now, just to make mention of this, um, right way options was in that we were in this trade and some of the right way options members are still holding this trade. We got into this position down here. Very, very nice, easy trade to make um, on the weekly chart. 
And now on this daily, we're getting this nice resting pattern out here toward one of these trends, not sure which, and we'll be watching for that opportunity for that to pop on through and move to the upside. And I gotta tell you guys, there are more potential charts out here than you can possibly trade that are setting up. Take a look at MT, here's another steel company possibly setting up in a nice bullish trend. We're seeing stocks um, like Procter & Gamble taking this nice little resting pattern, holding after breaking through that resistance, resting out here for that possible move to the upside. Keep a close eye on that. Um, we're seeing um, the healthcare sector made a nice move on Friday popping up here breaking my alert to the upside so you can see xly or excuse me xlv looking good might want to look at some of those health sector stocks looking very very strong let's take a look at the financial sector xlf financials holding up quite well and made a nice little move on friday trying to break through and remember with those big earnings reports coming up this week this could get um, really come into play and you might want to be taking a look at some of those individual stocks in these indexes looking very very strong take a look at blooming blooming uh, blooming um, broke down it looked like it was going to fail but rallied right back up um, into that trend if we can hold in here let's watch for that next opportunity to maybe push out here on blooming we have stocks like mosaic that could be setting up. Stocks like STZ that could be setting up. We have beautiful stock in LO, I mean um, L here, looking good. Stocks like TAP, they pulled back pretty hard last week um, and the, on Friday here, but still holding above support, still worth watching, keeping a, an eye on that chart. Take a look at Coca-Cola, beautiful consolidating move as we're trying to rest over here, could possibly break through. So these big divvy pairs are looking really, really good and showing nice potential in these charts. So more stocks than we could potentially trade, but keep a close eye on those. There's a lot of setups out here in the market. You wanna be careful not to over trade and you wanna be careful to not chase stocks that are already very extended. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. And once again, I apologize for the lateness of this video. Hope everyone has great success in your trading today. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a good one.